Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here, and it's time for an unboxing from Bugs in Cyberspace. You know, I contacted Peter uh, from Bugs in Cyberspace, and I've done a lot of things with Peter's help in the... In, it's been quite a few years since we've been, you know, working together in that sense where I've been getting bugs from him. I've sent him some creatures as well, and uh, we're hoping to get uh, a collaborative bugging trip going, but uh, COVID has made that a little bit difficult for now. We'll do it eventually. We're not there yet, but we'll get there. But anyway, this particular project, my blue death fanning beetle breeding project, is something that uh, Peter said that he was so excited about this project and about uh, supporting the project that he insisted that he send me these free of charge, which I think is awesome of Peter to do. And I've had great experiences with him. So if you haven't checked out Bugs in Cyberspace, please do. It's awesome. He's got a YouTube channel and he does contests where you can win prizes. He's got uh, a lot of informational videos on how to care for bugs. He's got all kinds of great stuff. So uh, yeah, if you haven't, definitely check it out. Oh. All right. <laughs> I guess you could say this video is sponsored by bugs in cyberspace because he sent me these things. So I want to be careful as I unpack here. Sweet. Oh. All right. And I asked for sex beetles in precisely this ratio. So I'm really excited that uh, I was able to get those to me. You can see um, he sent uh, one male and three females. I have, I believe, two males and one female right now. I lost a couple of females from my breeding project over the winter, essentially. Um, some of them, they passed away within the last little while, so I want to make sure I get plenty of beetles. I do have um, baby beetles in the incubator in terms of, you know, hopefully pupating beetles. I've, this is my smallest uh, larva right now. The, uh, the bigger ones are all in the incubator and hopefully pupating or about to pupate. I put a big one in there a little while ago. This one is only about uh, slightly over an inch long, and I wait till they're almost twice this size before I put them in the incubator, because you want them to be approaching two inches before you put them in the incubator. So I have done that, and uh, I'm hoping that I'll get some of those soon. Just gonna check through here. And oh, oh wow, oh that is awesome. I ordered some, some bug jelly, which he put in here. I, I requested some bug jelly, but he's also put a white velvet ant in here. That is so awesome. He knows that I love velvet ants and he knows that I am especially interested in getting a white one. So <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. She's kind of jammed herself up there in the corner, but I can see she's moving around. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I love velvet ants. Velvet ants are so cool. It's actually a kind of wasp. Yeah. My, my niece is in the background. You can hear her asking questions about this guy. Well, this gal, this uh, velvet ant. I'm not going to take her out right now because um, they do have quite a powerful sting. And so um, I'm going to release it into the enclosure. So I will do that uh, a little later in this video. And here is some bug jelly. This is a, a type of bug jelly that's produced in Asia. And I'll tell you, it's not intended for human consumption, but whatever I smell it, it smells really good. <laughs> it smells kind of like brown sugar or maple syrup or something. And there's another one in there. So I'm just going to double check, make sure I got everything. It's always a good idea. Perfect. Thank you so much, Peter. I'm really excited about all of this, about your support of the Blue Death Finning Beetle Project and getting a nice, robust breeding colony going about this velvet ant. I totally didn't expect a velvet ant, but I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, we're going to let uh, these into their enclosures. Okay, now we're ready to release the beetles into the breeding enclosure. And I want to thank Peter again for sending these. It was very generous and I'm excited about um, the next phases in the breeding project. Hopefully very soon I'll have some adult beetles from the uh, larvae I put in the incubator. While I'm talking about the incubator, I should thank all of our patrons at Patreon. They helped me buy the incubator and they help fund a lot of the projects we do here at Aquarimax Pets. So thank you for all that you do our patrons at Patreon. And thank you to everyone who supports the channel in whatever way, whether it's just watching the videos, whether it's purchasing things from Aquarimax, 
you know, there's a lot of ways that you contribute, and I appreciate them all. So thank you again to all of you. Here we go. Let's start putting them in. Where's his other eye? Oh, that's the one that has the special eye, remember? Mm. Yeah, my uh, niece is asking about the one of the crested geckos, the special needs one that uh, has some eye abnormalities. And here we go. So if you want to uh, learn more about this project, if you haven't followed my uh, progress of the uh, Blue Death Finning Beetle Beetle Project, oh, I said beetle twice, sorry about that, I'm going to put uh, a link to the playlist uh, at the end of the video so that you can check that out. And just, I've been trying to document all of it on video. I dropped a piece of paper towel in there and the beetle wants to come with me. Here we go. Got rid of the paper towel. Now I need to put the beetle in. So if you want to check that out, you can uh, check out that playlist. If you want to find out more about uh, my Patreon and you think you might want to look into supporting Aquarium Max Pets that way, I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, great big thanks to Peter once again for sending all of these. I really, really appreciate his help. Looking forward to when we get to do our collaboration video once COVID-19 has released its grip. And thank you for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. I only put these in a minute or two ago and they've already found, well this one's already found the beetle jelly it looks like, and a couple of others have already found the carrots. So that's great. Looks like they're going to settle in pretty nicely. And it looks like the velvet ant has already found the feeder. And the beetle, surprisingly, wants to get into the act. I've never seen the beetle drink from this before.